What's up, everyone? I'm Jackie YBT. Tech away, tech everything. Today, I'm gonna unboxing and reviewing this budget gaming mouse from Logitech. So before we start, let's take a look of the box itself. So as you can see, the front very bright blue color big logos and you can see the picture of the product itself so moving on to the left hand side of the box so here the usual stuff what's inside the box you get a gaming mouse user documentation what you need a usb port as long as you have a laptop pc you are good to go no worries next the technical specifications talk about three things the tracking the responsiveness and the durability 200 to 8000 dbi max acceleration 35g and max speed 300 pis you get it you know you can pause it if you want to take a look of the, the specification so now let's look at the back of the box 8000 dpi maximum if any of you guys did the research you will be confused by now because it used to be 6000 dpi so at some point logitech released the update the software update that increase the dpi from 6000 to 8000 it's not like everyone will use it it's just a marketing 10 million clicks uh, they tested around 10 million clicks so it's quite durable 10 million times that's a lot and for gaming mouse six button is very usual you know common you you gotta have those side button man that's very important and moving on the what 16.8 million colors on the led strips yeah that's it where there's a software for you to customize the color of your led strip we will talk about that later we shall now start the unboxing procedure as you can see there's a tape over there and we need to get rid of it let's do it Okay, I screwed up. Let's try something else. There we go. Gotta be careful because you don't want to break the box. Let's see inside the box. Anyway, let's get on to the rest of the unboxing. So you see right here, the mouse and the casing cut out with a foam sleeve. The wire of the mouse is wrapped loosely around the mouse. So let's take it out. Wow. Just take a look at that. This mouse looks familiar because it has the same outer shell as the Logitech G Pro. For those who don't know, the Logitech G102 is a budget version of the Logitech G Pro, which itself is based on the shape of the old Logitech G100S. In other regions, such as in the West, this mouse is known as the Logitech G203. This mouse, like the Logitech G Pro, feature the all plastic construction other than the rubber mouse wheel and the teflon mouse feet the entire mouse is made out of hard plastic with the side having a tougher texture than the top there are no rubberized side grips here personally i picked this mouse is because it made out of plastic it will be a lot easier to clean up with a cloth if you look at the bottom of the mouse you can see a sticker here there's a sticker of the serial number. You can see the first four numbers are 1805. This means the mouse was manufactured in the 5th week of February, which also means this mouse is pretty new and it has the firmware update pre-installed. For the sake of comparison, this is the Logitech M100R. Some of you might recognize this mouse as your generic office mouse. I picked this mouse because I had one laying around and second Again, I expect that most people who buy the G102 are upgrading from mouse like these because it has the similar shape and size. So people tend to buy something they're familiar with but this is just my assumption, you know. This mouse has almost the same length. Oh, I forgot to mention that this mouse features a simple rubber cable. It's not a braided or a paracord cable. Got your left click, right click, the DPI click, the scroll wheel, 
the two thumb button and this white plastic strip is the LED strip. Now on to more important questions. Is this mouse a good fit for my hand? This mouse is pretty small. It measures the height 116.6 millimeters, the width 62.15 millimeters, and the depth 38.2 millimeters. It weighs 85 grams. My hand size is about 19 times 10 cm. This is how the mouse fit in my hand. I have kind of fingertip grip, you can say that. It is long enough to touch my palm and this is left side and this is my right hand side. My ring finger got enough space but my pinky finger doesn't. So it's left hanging at the side and it rubs against the mouse pad and the table. So as you can see the mouse right here, the lights are on but down here there's no light. That's because they use the IR LED sensors so you don't get the annoying red light at the bottom. This is the click button sound test. So the buttons on the mouse are really, really light, really easy to click. So so light in fact that I find myself accidentally clicking them all the time. Like for example, when I when I lift the mouse, there we go. It just happened. Then let's, let's try again. It just happened again. Yeah, yeah. Now you take gaming software, you get to change the, the lighting on your mouse. You know, you get to you get to do this. Wow! Would you look at that? Look at the mouse. The preview in the screen. Wow! 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 Whoa! 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 <laughs> Okay, so as you can see in the Logitech Gaming software, one of the things you can customize about your mouse is how the lighting works. You can have it on a cycle, you can, you can use a, a kind of a breathing effect you see here. You can even customize the rate at which it does it. And of course, you also get to have a solid color which you can adjust over here. So here you get to adjust the sensitivity of your mouse. For example, you can go all the way. You can go. You can go all the way to 8000 dpi if you want. Although that's a very stupid thing to do. You can even customize the polling rate for the mouse if I can actually click on it. From 125 to 250 to 512 to 1000, I can click on it. You can even customize the number of steps that your DPI button goes through up to five. And also you can also you can customize the polling rate of your mouse. From 125 to 250 to 500 to 1000. So on this screen, you, you get to choose from a bunch of profiles where you get to customize what your what each of your buttons do in different games. So for example, in this guy, I select the Team Fortress 2 here, and, and and I can use the back button to, and set it to so that when I when I press it, I call for a medic. So you get some presets here that that are downloaded uh, from the Logitech Gaming software itself. You can also make up your own custom macros. You also make, make your own custom macros and you get a lot of options for, for making such macros. On this screen you get a key press heat map. And you can see which buttons are used the most. The mouse also has its own onboard memory. So if you put on your settings on one computer and you unplug the mouse, you, you, and when you plug it into another computer, the settings will carry over, such as your DPI. So that's about it guys. Thank you for watching and I hope that this video helped you to decide whether to buy this mouse or not. And also thanks to my friend, thanks for his explanation on the software department for this mouse. Remember to give a thumbs up, subscribe, comment down in the comment section below, share it to your friends and family. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye!